Fall into a deep sleep with this calm bedtime story for grown-ups. You're listening to Cottage on Placid Island. In this snowy sleep story, you are invited to Placid Island to relax at a cozy cottage designed by an artist and former resident. Accompanied by your beloved dog, you explore the beach and evergreen woods before a snowstorm moves in. It is a perfect escape from the demands of the modern world, and you connect with nature in a timeless experience. The island brings you the freedom to spend each moment however you desire and to connect with its beauty. You come to the calmest state you have been in a long time when you retreat to the fully stocked cottage and fall asleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, imagine I am a trusted ally and guide. I am here to help you connect to the deepest and most lovable parts of yourself. In this sanctuary, you are welcome to be every expression of yourself. Tap into the wonderful power of your imagination and fill in this story with details that suit you. You may skip the breathing exercises and meditation, or you may enjoy the full experience. And if sleep welcomes you into its warm embrace before the story ends, you may surrender and listen again. Make yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. Sink your head into your pillows and recognize how lucky you are to have this special place and time for rest. Take in a deep breath and fill your belly like a balloon. And when you cannot take in another sip of air, open your mouth and enjoy a big yawn. Exhale in an easy sigh. Take in another breath when you are ready and imagine molecules of oxygen traveling to every part of your body with one single message. Relax. And then exhale and sigh away all your cares and concerns. They may be revisited some other time if necessary, but this time is meant for peace and serenity. Take in one more breath and yawn. With this breath, you send the message to your body that you are ready to stand down and let go of any places of tension or holding. And as you exhale, that message has been received and answered with total release as your belly and body sink down down, down. In a place of trust, you surrender conscious control of your breath and prepare for a well-deserved escape as the story begins. Placid Island is a tiny island nestled among a string of islands in the Long Island Sound. From the long wooden deck that leads to a storybook cottage on this island, one may make out the mainland of New England. It is the only cottage on the island, and the only island with a cottage. The home exists today because of an artist's dream. Whenever anyone steps onto the island, it's as though all other places fade away. The neighboring islands are used in summer as beaches for sunbathing, swimming, and fishing, 
and found by revelers who used their speedboats, paddleboards, and sailboats to explore. But come winter time, the beaches are bare, and wavy strips of white snow cover the tawny, frozen sand. The keepers of Placid Island try to keep the cottage open year-round, which is quite uncommon during winter months. Built over a century ago, the cottage was designed by an artist and writer who had traveled to the island as a young teen to draw and paint and daydream. The teen declared that one day the island would become home. And when success followed many years later, they came back to design a cottage. In the beginning, the plans were met with doubt and derision. But an artist is no stranger to being teased or questioned, and so construction began with hope. And those who laughed later longed for an invitation and a glimpse into the curated architectural beauty that existed harmoniously with nature. For many decades, the artist would host festivals and mentor young creative types and dreamers, believing that beauty and success were meant to be shared. When old age slowly took hold, the last chapter arrived and change for the artist was inevitable. So to preserve the cottage, a trust was founded with the same generosity of spirit, inviting those in need of respite to submit a letter with their story. For decades, the cottage became a fun sanctuary for families in the summer and a retreat for artists and writers in the winter. It felt like divine timing when your letter was received and the invite was extended. And it is with deep gratitude on this wintry day that your request for tranquility and cozy days by the fire is soon to be answered. You travel by a borrowed motorboat to Placid Island as the first flurries begin to fall. It is the day of the winter solstice when you journey to this snowy island. And it is early in the winter season, so the Long Island Sound is free of ice and the waters are calm before the snowstorm. Your voyage is deserved and timely as the bustle of the holiday season has been quite enervating. You know that this weekend's respite is deserved. It is never selfish or wrong to take these getaways for yourself. Self-love and self-care are not selfish, they are necessary. You deserve to unplug and unwind. The water is a milky blue-green shade beneath the elephant gray skies of early afternoon. You arrive on the shortest day of the year and long to explore the small island with your pup who travels with you before darkness sets in. Your furry companion is wrapped in a blanket and they rest comfortably on the small boat as though this is a journey they have taken many times. They tilt their coal black nose towards the sky when the briny smell on the mist arouses their curiosity. You guide the boat towards a long and narrow dock. The wooden boards creak as it moves with the tide. You carefully align the boat and bring it to a stop so you may secure it to the dock. A water-resistant parka keeps you comfortable and warm and the hood juts out past your forehead like a small visor. You travel light with a duffel bag 
as your hosts have ensured that the cottage is completely stocked with all that you will need. Your coat and fuzzy soft scarf are in your favorite colors. The vibrant colors come to life against the hues of white and gray that dominate the island and sound. Your pup cannot wait to break free from the tented blanket and run across the snow-dusted dock. Their paw prints lead you towards the cottage, and you enter it to leave your bags so you may explore the island. You walk up the creaking steps and open the front door of the cottage, which has now existed for well over a century. Warm, dry air pours out onto the porch and smells of sweet old books, cottage dust, and summer memories. You place the bags in the foyer. The walls are lined with black and white photos that span decades. Pictures of happy dogs and children jumping off the dock into the sound and frolicking on the beach give insight into the magical historical beauty of the island. It feels like an island that is meant for everyone. This is an island where people go to return to themselves. In the quietude of this island for one cottage, you return home to yourself. All the cozy vibes on snowy days reside within you and you feel them welling up. You look out a picture window to see your pup gleefully slide across the front yard. They use their nose to bulldoze the powdery white snow into a small bank. They then jump in the air and spin before running across the snow, fully immersed in the present moment. They then race around the wintry landscape as if being chased by an imaginary friend. Witnessing the splendor awakens joy within you. You return outside and feel snowflakes melt on your cheeks. You call to your dog and they eagerly follow behind as you take a walk around the island before the sun sets. You inhale the aroma of clean snow and salty air. You walk towards a rocky beach dusted in snow and pause to watch the waves crash against the shore. Your pup hurries ahead and then pauses. Your feet crunch on the snow, adding a percussive sound to the persistent hush of the incoming tide. Your pup pauses and pushes around the snow with their nose. You look down to see an array of jewel-toned stones that are smooth and covered in a thin, glassy layer of ice. As you investigate further, you discover a piece of turquoise sea glass that is shaped like a heart. You grab it with your gloved hand and hold it against the white and gray backdrop of snow and clouds. The pop of color is soothing and reminiscent of tropical seas. It offers a piece of hope for warmer and longer days and serves as a reminder that winter is not here to stay. You place it in your coat pocket as a keepsake. And the temporary nature of this cold and stormy day gives you permission to enjoy what will not last. The secret to contentment is recognizing that joy and fulfillment may be gleaned from days that aren't the most comfortable are exactly how you would like. 
The frosty air causes your nose to tingle and your fingers to prickle. When you go deeper into the sensations of this experience, you are more deeply connected to the aliveness of everything around you and inside you in the moment. It causes you to smile and even laugh. It's as though a curtain has been drawn up at this moment to reveal a stage where a show is being performed before you in real time. The thoughts of yesterday and worries for the future evaporate as quickly as snowflakes falling on an open fire. This is your moment, and it will not come again. You continue down the beach to see the lighthouse in the sound, with wide black and white stripes, it is still visible through the mist and snow. While no longer in use, you imagine the days it was, showering the sound in hopeful light. This thought warms you as if you are basked in the golden glow of the lighthouse's beams. You connect with the light within you that beams brightly on the coldest of days. Your heart continues to beat and beneath the comforts of your parka, it radiates heat by the fuel of your life force. Snowflakes fall like tender kisses when you stand still, you can hear each one land on your coat. The sound becomes a chorus with those flakes falling on the ground around you and creates a hypnotic song that soothes you deeply. The bigger snowflakes capture your attention and you look at the intricate designs like celestial stars that reflect iridescent white light. The sun may not shine on the earth as long, but the snow comes along to brighten the darkness of the season. A wooded area neighbors the beach, and you and your pup walk beneath the evergreen canopy. Snow covers the branches in tufts as thick as cream cheese icing atop a cupcake. You inhale the sweet, piney aroma and listen to the soft rustle of the wind through the pine needles. Fallen pine cones are artistically coated with snow and conjure thoughts of gingerbread houses dripping in icing. There's a richness to the woodlands that carries on the air. The earth, not yet frozen, emits a saccharine smell of decaying leaves and wood that complements the minty fragrance of evergreens. And unlike days in summer, when the crickets and cicadas sing out, and the air is thick and humid. The forest is now strikingly quiet and calm. The birds have flown to warmer destinations along with the monarch butterflies. You walk through the small forest and see a red fox that poses near a tree. Your dog does not notice this animal you wonder how they came to this small island. You look at the animal reverently before it disappears in the hollow of a fallen tree, tucked safely and warmly for the night. You exit the woods and your dog comes to your side. With a gloved hand you brush off the snow that has gathered on their coat 
and feel it is time to return to the cottage. Darkness is beginning to set in and you long to spend the night by the fire, reading books and enjoying cold weather treats. You walk through a field of barren trees. Their exposed twigs reveal the bone structure of the landscape. The island was a muse for the artist who owned it, and each new turn reveals new beauty. Winter brings everything down to its very roots, and you welcome the simplicity. Too many things have become complicated over time, and you deserve to relish the simplicity that your ancestors and all those who came before you were able to enjoy. Free of all modern demands, you ride the wave of quietude in total surrender. It takes less time than you would have thought to experience the decrease in your heart rate, the unraveling of tension in your chest and a sensation of lightness that comes from a day of playing as a child. Your attention turns to every sensation in your body, and you are so in tune. The world has quieted to the point that you can hear yourself, and you feel the message coming up welling inside of you. It is one of deep gratitude. This is exactly what you needed. Your pup races you to the cottage. The wind picks up off the sound and the freshest layer of snow begins to drift. You inhale the cold rush of air through your nose Feel how it warms before reaching your throat and lungs. The chilly air is welcome as a contrast that heightens your appreciation for a warm, cozy night in. You climb the stairs of the back deck. The railings are built from gnarly trees and driftwood functional and creative in a way you have never seen. The artist believed in using raw materials from the island that had served their purpose, allowing nothing to go wasted. Your pup follows you to the stained glass back door that captures a sparkling summer day on the sound in the mid 20th century. You wipe away a dusting of snow to admire the sapphire, emerald, teal, and gold glass tiles. The door creaks open into a dining nook and open kitchen. Exposed rustic wooden beams are overhead and decorated for the winter with boughs of pine and a holiday wreath. You remove your boots and coat, and your pup shakes off the cold. On the table, a hand-blown glass vase full of fallen autumn leaves preserved in wax is layered with cinnamon sticks and aglow with fairy lights. You turn on the lights and the mahogany, burgundy, citrine, and golden leaves are cast in a dreamy golden glow. The room smells of baking spices and home. There is a framed handwritten letter on the wall next to a hand-carved hutch made of local timber, written by the artist with a fountain pen in elegant calligraphy. The letter reads, my dearest guest, 
this home was built to celebrate the joy and beauty that can be found in this oft challenging plight of human existence. In an imperfect world, this table has hosted the most perfect gatherings filled with laughter and hope. My wish is that the spirit of love and imagination that inspired me to create this sanctuary will wrap around you in a comforting hug and grant you the knowing that you are home. You feel the muscles in your face relax as if you are unaware that you had even been holding them tight. Your lips form a smile for the second time on this journey and a wave of warmth washes over you. You do feel home. You walk towards the kitchen and it's designed like a storybook cottage from medieval times. There is beauty in every corner and nook and set out in an old basket, once used for picnics hosted by the artist, is a collection of your favorite winter snacks and foods and a mug with your name on it containing a packet of gourmet cocoa. Next to the basket are treats and food for your dog. Two scarlet dog bowls are on the floor and hand-painted with your pup's name. Your pup eagerly sits at your feet. You give your furry friend a treat and then fill a scarlet ceramic dog bowl on the floor with food. The artist left specific instructions in a trust that every guest should be treated with custom care. And though you came prepared for anything, it delights you so much to know your needs are taken care of. When the trust requested your preferences for things, you had no idea it would amount to this. You cannot recall the last time that every one of your whims and fancies was honored in such a way. You walk to the cast iron gas range and remove a hand painted kettle that boasts a bohemian design with pops of teal, marigold, purple, and fuchsia. You fill it with water from a cast iron spigot and return it to the stove to boil. The tiles of the kitchen are hand painted in cerulean shades depicting nautical designs that conjure a feeling of longing. The glass knobs on the cupboards are all different, made of colorful pieces of sea glass. You run your fingers across the beautiful carvings in the wood and the smooth, cool knobs. Every detail in this cottage is dedicated to honoring the island and celebrating its charm. The kettle comes to a boil and you prepare the cocoa. The steam rises to your nose with a rich and decadent aroma. There are toppings and fresh whipped cream in the fridge and you make the drink to your liking. You take some of the snacks from the basket and walk towards the main living area. The wind whips around the cottage and you are so grateful to be inside. You place your wintry treats on a side table. There is a fireplace in the center of the room already prepared so you need only to strike a match against the hearth and light the crumpled newspaper beneath the kindling and perfectly stacked logs. The flames erupt quickly 
eating away at the coarse, dry wood. Your pup is settled on a plush sofa and you join them. You wrap yourself in a velvety throw blanket in a soothing color that drapes over the back of the couch. Your pup wastes no time in snuggling next to you. They sigh and rest their head on your leg, dreamily looking at the amber and honey flames. You sip your cocoa and fill yourself with the plentiful array of food. The outside world becomes dark and you relish the warm glow of the fire. In a dreamy state yourself, you stare at the falling snow outside the square panes of the window. Your eyes shift in soft focus back and forth between the glossy flames and glittering snow. Your body sinks into the couch and your attention turns to a book of poems resting on the side table. You pick it up and follow a gold satin ribbon that bookmarks a page. It features the poem Snowflakes by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Your pup begins to snore against you as you read the words aloud. Out of the bosom of the air, out of the cloud folds of her garments shaken, over the woodlands brown and bare, over the harvest fields forsaken, silent and soft and slow descends the snow. Even as our cloudy fancies take suddenly shape in some divine expression, even as the troubled heart doth make in the white countenance confession, the troubled sky reveals the grief it feels. This is the poem of the air, slowly in silent syllables recorded. This is the secret of despair, long in its cloudy bosom hoarded, now whispered and revealed to wood and field. You close your eyes and rest your head on the curved back of the sofa. Winter is a season for release. Winter snow from the clouds is a release. You gift yourself the same permission to release your own feelings. You release the pressure to always be just right or happy or okay. For if anything the artist has taught you, being authentic to yourself is far more valuable and important than pretending to be something you are not. And that authenticity led to this beautiful place and time that people may still enjoy. The fire burns down into glowing embers and the room is now dim. As the snow continues to pile up outside against the cottage, you feel safe and content. You take to heart what the artist experienced and understood. It is okay to be your own island at times. In the solitude, you rediscover yourself. 
and when it feels right and when it feels good you may share your precious island with whomever you desire you rise from the sofa and your pup stirs and awakens you go to the foyer to retrieve your bag and then walk towards the master suite your pet's nails click on the creaking wooden floors and you smile at the sound it is a familiar reminder over the years that your companion is always nearby you enter the magical bedroom to discover a four-poster bed beneath a skylight the wintry wind blows the soft snow across the glass and shifts it around like sand within an hourglass the wall across from the bed has a mural depicting a starry summer night on the island that reminds you of Van Gogh's dreamy masterpiece you remove your clothes and change into your pajamas the steam heater begins to clank and hisses as it turns on and warms the room dried lavender from summer is in a teal glass vase on a bed table and perfumes the room with a soporific aroma once changed into your winter sleepwear you pull back the heavy velvet comforter to discover silk sheets your pup nestles atop the comforter at the end of the bed where they will warm your feet throughout the night you climb up into the tall bed and immediately sink into the comforting bedding with your head positioned on the plush pillows you feel them form around your neck with gentle support every part of this moment is homey intimate and lovely the wind whistles ever so softly and on it you are sure you hear the poems and words of those who always found the magic in the mundane these whispers encourage you to seek the sublime as you cross over into your sleeping life winter is the season for deep slumber and restoration and you find yourself appreciative for this gift and respite and I am going to count you down to a night of deeply restorative, imaginative, healing, sleep. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding love, finding solace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.